Juice Up is a small business uh, ran by five gentlemen who are very interested in improving our health, our health and the lives of uh, other individuals who are looking to improve their health. Um, four of us are vegetarians and um, we did some research uh, and, and um, three of us actually began making trips to New York and trying different juice bars and finding out some of the benefits of juicing. And so um, we became more aware that there are certain nutrients that you get out of juicing that you don't get out of eating solid food. And so we would drink all this juice and have all this energy when we were in New York. When we came back to Pittsburgh, there was nothing like that. There was nowhere to really get it. And so we decided to take a chance and venture into this ourselves because we knew that it was beneficial and um, it could change the dynamics of, of what's going on in some of these communities with the high rates of cancer and uh, high blood pressure and diabetes and things like that. So we began to kind of dig in and find out more about what juicing is and how it, how it helps you. Juice allows uh, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes to enter your bloodstream quicker than a solid food would because it goes liquid to liquid versus a solid having to be broken down in your stomach and turned into a liquid or turned into mush. Uh, and so that's important because at a cellular level it begins to rebuild your cells and your tissue and a lot of our sicknesses in our body come from things happening in tissues with st cell stagnation or just and so I think one of the things that we've really started to engage people on is is it good or is it good for you? And so our goal is to make sure that our juices are delicious and nutritious. So they should be good and good for you. And pretty much across the board, as many things in your life as possible should be good and good for you, instead of just being good because you like it. So um, we've kind of jumped around to different community events and things like that to spread the message that um, health is important and uh, in the big picture, health is wealth because you can have all the money in the world and if you're not healthy, you won't enjoy it. A lot of juices are being sold at a lot of the health stores. Um, one issue that we kind of doing research on is how long you can actually store something and say it's fresh. Because essentially you're, you're storing something that's fresh and after you store it for too long, it begins to putrefy or it begins to turn to an alcohol naturally because it has sugars in it. But you know, certain levels of um, preservatives or preserving type agents can be done. Now some of these preservatives are natural preservatives, but most of them are artificial. And so that's what we don't want to do. Um, however, there are places where you can go buy juices. Uh, Whole Foods has really expanded their fresh juice or their juice aisle where you can get different combinations of fruits and vegetables that are really beneficial to your health. Um, so it, it's growing. Uh, I go to Giant Eagle and I'm seeing more in the organic section. And I think the more people vote with their dollar, the more you'll see it. And, and that's the thing sometimes we don't really understand about our economic system. You vote with your dollar. Wherever you decide to put your money is what you support and who you're basically saying is your candidate. So we, um, we strive to let people know it's not just about coming to juice up you should get a juicer at home. You should do this. This should be part of your culture, your everyday life, that you implement doing something healthy for your body because you deserve it, not because we're a, small, we're a company and we're trying to get your money. We really want everybody to live a good quality life. You can find us at uh, JuiceUp412 with a exclamation point at the end on Facebook. Uh, you can find us uh, hashtag JuiceUp412 exclamation point on Twitter. Um, and uh, we are actually working on um, a small film piece uh, in collaboration with uh, a, a grant that we got from Austin Pittsburgh. So uh, we'll be working on that to kind of show a little bit more about our angle of, of juice and why juicing is important, especially to address the fact that there are food deserts in Pittsburgh. There are large areas where it's difficult for people to find fresh produce, to find, you know, some hearty fruits and vegetables that's not canned and preserved and extra salty and all those types of things. So I fully support the gentlemen at the Livermore Bar Marco. They are our partners. Uh, 
they've supported us and we've supported them um, from the beginning and it's been a great relationship and it continues to be a great relationship. Uh, every day we're learning more about the things that we're not taught in health class, the things that we're not aware of as American citizens, the things that kind of get glazed over. And so we're really just trying to push the boundaries on what's good, what's nutritious, what's, what's helpful for you, and um, really create some new opportunities and possibilities in Pittsburgh because there's kind of a, a mentality that, you know, things are how they are and that's the way that they're meant to be, but you can change it by pushing the envelope. And so these guys really do a great job of that every day, coming up with just outside the box recipes. And it inspires us to come up with new outside the box recipes. Uh, I would like to shout out all the farmers that um, grow produce in their small farms, their family owned farms. Uh, Penn's Corner connects a lot of local restaurants with local fresh grown produce. Um, and um, just everybody taking a risk on running a small business because I know a lot of our generation was taught we were supposed to go to college and get a job, and with the state of the job market the last couple of years, it's not how it was for our parents' generation. So it takes real courage to, to take that chance and step on your own. So I would like to give a shout out to all the small business owners and um, you know you for giving us the opportunity to voice what we're doing. You know I really appreciate it.